this video, we're going to be tackling the leak code question merge to sorted list. And this question is very common amongst companies. Companies love the two linked list style of question, but how exactly are we going to merge these two linked lists? What is the beginning? How are we even going to begin to do this? Well, we're going to have to start somewhere, obviously. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to create a very new head of our own. The head of a linked list is a very common term that you should be familiar with. Next thing is we're actually going to assign a last pointer to the head of our linked list. And I'll talk more about that here in a second, but we're also going to have a pointer that tells us where the last element is. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to assign pointers to the beginning of the nodes that were given to us. And what we're going to do is each time that we iterate with our pointers, we're going to check what the smallest number is. So let's go ahead and look which node is bigger, one or one. Well, they're the same, so we'll just go ahead and connect the node to the first list. And each time that we connect a node to the list, we're also going to have to move our pointers, both pointers, this pointer and the last pointer as well. And the reason that we need this last pointer is so that when we sever the connection or if we have to sever this connection, we still remember where the last node is. So let's go ahead and let's repeat this process. Which number is smaller, four or one? one is indeed smaller so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead grab our pointer here we're going to place it to the new node and just like before we're going to move our pointer up and we are also going to move our last pointer to the next node so let's go ahead and take a look at which is the smaller number two is the smaller number this one's a gimme the only thing that we have to do is just move our pointer up move our last pointer up as well and we are good to go. So let's go ahead, repeat the process, which is the smaller number, three or four. Three is indeed the smaller number. We're going to go ahead, move our pointer up, move up our last pointer as well. Here's where things finally get exciting again. Four is the smaller number. So we're going to take our reference, we're going to take our pointer and we are going to point it at the four. And as usual, we are going to move our pointer up and we're going to move our last pointer to the four as well. And finally, for our last iteration, we're going to check which number is smaller, five or six. Five is the smallest number, so we're going to go ahead, move up our pointer, move up our last pointer as well too. But we still have one more thing we have to do, and we have to connect the six. So what we're going to do is whichever part of the list reaches null first, we're going to connect the opposite and we're pretty much done. So let's go ahead, let's hop into IntelliJ and let's code it up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to create the node class and it's good to build out the node class because it helps you understand what's going on underneath the hood. A lot of times we're using these data structures in leak code, we have no idea uh, what they look like or how they even work. So let's just go ahead and build out the node and plus AI does everything for us as well too. So we, we barely have to type anything out. So we are done with the list node. Let's go ahead and create a new class. I'm going to call this solution and this is going to house the actual code to do the merge and we'll have a method it will be public, it's going to return a list node, and we're going to call this merge to list. Now be careful, AI is going to want to put L1 and L2 for the parameters, but uh, it's supposed to be list one and list two. If you don't have that, it's probably gonna throw off all the variables in your code. We need two things. So first thing, we need to go ahead and we need to create a new head for the uh, start of our merge list. And also we need to have a variable that's going to keep track of the last node. And we'll go ahead, set that to prehead. And if you don't know what these two things are, this is the 
beginning. The prehead is the very beginning of our new linked list. This is the new node that we need to create. And the last variable is the variable that we use to keep track of the last element as we snake through our merged list. All right, so we've gotten that figured out. Now what we need to do is we need to create these two boxes that are going to iterate through the two merged list as we merge and move towards the end. And we're actually going to do this with a while loop. So what we'll do is we'll create a while loop that will check if list one is not equal to null and if list two is not equal to null. And within the while loop, we're going to create the logic that's going to check which node is smaller. And this actually needs to be greater. So we're going to go ahead, make this one greater. We're going to go ahead, start if list one is greater than list two. And here's the reason that we created the last uh, node or this last pointer. We need this last element to point to the new element. And that's the whole entire reason that we created the last node to kind of follow us around as we go through all of the nodes. And then obviously we're going to set the new node to the next node. And this is primarily done so that we're at a new place when we iterate. This may seem like we're actually doing something important, but the whole entire reason that we have this part right here is so that we can iterate to the next place in the list. Then what we're gonna do is we're just going to set the opposite and it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing. We're going to take our last node, the node that's following us around, but we're just going to set it to one and we're just going to have pretty much the opposite of what we had above. And lastly, we need to make sure that that last node is continuing to follow us around. So this next part in the code may look pretty strange, but if you remember back to the whiteboard here, if I can find my whiteboard. So if you remember back to the whiteboard, remember when we reached the end, when we reached null, well, whichever list that we reach null first, all that we're going to do is just point it to the opposite list node. And that's what's going to make it so that the list can finally end and we also can connect the rest of these nodes. So all we need to do now is just return the prehead that we made. And we're just going to return prehead.next because we don't want to return the node with the zero value. What we want to return is we want to actually return this node right here and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead let's grab all this code and let's toss it into leak code and see what we get and i'm going to go ahead exit out of full screen i'm in full screen right now i'm going to go ahead bring this over really quickly and toss this code into here and let's run our test test looking good let's smash that submit button and let's check our runtime. Runtime is looking good. And our memory is looking constant. We have passed the interview. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. As always, thank you for watching.